What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. Today we are checking out the latest AI video generation models from Google. And I gotta say the results are mind blowing. So we're gonna be diving into VO3 and we're also gonna be checking out the brand new tool Flow, which is made specifically with creative visual storytelling in mind. We're gonna be showcasing non cherry picked results. That way you guys get a clear understanding as to whether or not this is gonna be worth it to you and your creative work. All right, let's go. So I went to the zoo the other day, and all they had was one dog. It was a Shih Tzu. <laughs> I tried everything for my depression. Nothing worked. Every day felt heavy. I felt trapped. Then I tried Puppermin. Our prescription helps your body secrete a special pheromone that attracts puppies. I took the pill before bed, and when I woke up, there he was, the love of my life. The pill does not target depression directly, but we've found that it's really difficult to be depressed when cute dogs show up at your doorstep. I used to feel so empty, but now I feel joy and mild concern how a pee stain got on the ceiling. My puppy listens twice as good as my ex-husband and only climbs into the lap of half as many of my friends. He chewed up my Bible and pooped in my good chair, but I'm happy for the first time in years. Looks like a rat, barks like a demon, but he saved my life. I named him Earl. He follows me everywhere and farts in his sleep, just like my first husband. Yo, this is honestly insane. These AI generated videos are too expressive, too realistic, and it's crazy to imagine that the video and the audio are all generated together. Like we have honestly gone from crappy AI slop into something that is indistinguishable from something shot with real actors. It is honestly freaking mind blowing that we got this far in such a short amount of time. So what you guys are checking out right now is 100% AI generated. That means not just the video that's coming out, but even the audio that is coming out. And I gotta say, this is the most impressive AI that has come out this entire year. Where were you on the night of the bubble bath? We can talk. No more silence. Yes, we can talk. Ah, we can talk. We can talk. We can talk with accents. Oh, I think that would be marvelous. Right yes, there. it is very fun. But yes, it is I, very I, good. It's very fun. I can talk. Yes. yes, we can talk. Yes, yes. Yeah. We, we can talk. talk. We can talk. We can talk. Yes, we can bro. talk. Mm, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We can talk as cartoons. This is amazing. Imagine all the narrative possibilities. We can sing talk. Let's talk. So what are we going to talk about now? What are we going to talk about now that we can talk? I have no idea. What do you want to talk about? Now that I can talk. Now that if you want to I, I don't know if I have something to say. We can talk about how magical this is. I'm a hallucination. I want to say something important, something deep. The future is still in our hands. That's cliche dialogue. Let's not talk. Google just completely killed Sora and pretty much any other AI video platform because I don't think anything else can come out nearly as expressive and as impressive when you combine video and audio together. I'm one with nature now. Nature would prefer some personal space. This ocean, it's a force, a wild, untamed might. And she commands your awe with every breaking light. When we get in there, I want no bullshit. You stay on my six at all times. Stay 
Stay sharp. These fuckers are nasty and dangerous. Stay alert. What the hell happened here? Where are the bodies? So as you can see, the results are not perfect, but they're impressive nonetheless. All of the video and the audio that you're seeing is generated using VO3 and really nothing else compares to this at the moment. But there's even more because we have a brand new tool called Flow from Google, which we're going to be diving into right now. So this right here is Flow from Google and it is essentially their built in video generation platform. Now, if you guys have ever played around with using Google VO, you know that there's all sorts of different websites that you can access it from, whether you're using Gemini or if you're using AI Studio. But Flow seems to be where they're taking it into a new direction. And I got to say, Google is a little bit all over the place when it comes to their branding because they're releasing almost like three different products under different names. But when you kind of break them down, they all seem like they do roughly the same thing with some limitations here and there. Now, it does say that you're going to need a Google AI subscription and that it's only available in the U.S. to start off with. So if you guys are in another country, you might have to figure out a little bit of a workaround in order to get access to it. Okay, so first thing, let's go ahead and click create with flow. It's going to take me to this page, which it shows one of the generations that I've already messed around with. Now, one of the things that I will say I'm not a fan of with Flow is that your generation is almost categorized by date and then it's broken down into a little bit more of whatever I've created. So here I've created three different generations, but the thumbnail only showed me one and that happened to be my most recent one for the day. And then here we can actually compare these different generations. So they all have the same exact prompt, but they come out differently. Something that I think Google needs to do a little bit more work on is their website for this. It seems like almost a half-baked product, even though the AI model itself is pretty impressive. So the prompt was a wide angle shot of a man sitting at a desk in a room. The man is 1950s retro inspired technology equipment. On the man's desk is a 1990s inspired desktop monitor. The camera zooms out while the objects in the room begin to swirl and levitate. So this is a very strange, weird prompt. I was trying to get all sorts of different motions out of it. And from this first example, I gotta say, this one is not usable at all. It looks kind of like an interesting shot, but very much a lot of weird wonkiness going on with these objects just floating out. But then if we go into the second version of this, this is probably one of those examples that you might see in their demo reel. But then you'll start to realize based off the prompt, it's not actually adhering to the prompt, even though it's creating a relatively impressive looking scene that's entirely AI generated. And I love this transition, but... Yeah, when it comes to prompt adherence, this is going to be like a four or five out of 10. So it's definitely not blowing me out of the park when it comes to this. Another issue that you guys may notice is that we do get a bit of a warping and wonkiness here and there, but it's not at the level like some of the examples that you may see coming out of Sora sometimes when you're just using it at their lowest tier. So if you guys were curious what models these were, these are using VO2, which is not the absolute latest model. Even though Google has released VO3 and they've shown a lot of awesome use cases, they're kind of pushing it out similar to how OpenAI released Sora, where it's not really accessible to everyone just yet. So you're going to see here we have outputs per prompt, so we can choose up to four outputs in one generation, or we can also just crank this down to one to save on those credits. And then on the quality setting, you're going to see fast, which is VO2 quality, and then the highest quality VO3, which you see is grayed out and it requires you to upgrade it. And then when you start to see this, it's $125 a month. I know it's $124.99, but yeah, it's, it's $125 a month. And then when you really look at the fine print on this, it says for only three months and afterwards it becomes a whopping $250, which is freaking mind blowing. This to me is a little bit crazy because it just came out and not really too many people know the limitations of this. And so even though we've seen a lot of impressive results, if you guys are looking to use this professionally, I'm just going to go ahead and give my own hot take on this that I would not use a brand new AI model in professional work just yet without knowing some of the limitations of it because you might end up paying $250 for this and realize you're not actually able to do some of the things that you wanted to do. And I'll go ahead and show you really quickly an example of this actually. So let's go back and close out of that page. And another thing that they advertise is being able to do frames to video, which is really just 
image to video, but with some rebranding. And if you actually click on the image section here, it says upload dropping soon yeah, instead of coming soon, which yeah, if I was paying $250 for this, I'd be very upset if I'm not actually able to upload an image and generate with it, which is extremely frustrating. And instead they prompt you to generate an image first and then use that generated image to make a video. One thing that you're going to notice is that in Google's AI studio already, you're able to do video generation by uploading an image. So here in this case, you can create a video with an image using VO2, and you're also able to upload an image in this variant of the model. So very, very strange that they took this feature out, left it only inside of AI studio, which is their experimental area. And then when it comes to their actual product for people to pay for, it's not a feature that's available. So extremely, extremely frustrating and something that I wanted you guys to become aware of because I know a lot of other channels out there might just hype up some of these AI tools and not really show you exactly what some of the caveats are, which makes you end up spending money and realizing, shoot, this is not really going to help me for maybe something more professional where I need something very specific. Okay, so let's go back into these generations and take another look. So the main difference between these two is just the seed in the sense that these just created two different images or two variations off of the same prompt using their fast mode. This one has the highest amount of prompt adherence. And this one actually came out by using the quality setting on it. And it ended up coming out pretty decently good in which we have the floating objects. We have a bit of a, I wouldn't call that a twirl, but we have something moving around and then it zooms into this screen. So overall, this is a pretty impressive looking shot. It's adhering a little bit better to the prompt that we gave it, which again was a relatively abstract prompt. But yeah, I gotta say, I think this one is much better. So the quality setting on VO2 it is really nice. Now, this is what you guys are gonna be able to do if you're using what is called their pro plan. So I wanna go ahead and show you a little bit how we're paying this out and what it's set up for. So here we're actually just using their premium Google One was what it used to be called. So Google One came with five terabytes of data and we really just use this as a storage option. And then it seems like as a part of the benefits, it ended up including, you know, Gemini Pro. Now they're showing off Flow Pro and it looks like they're even gonna be showing off Whisk Pro. And it also starts to come with these AI credits, which before, we didn't really have any sort of expectation for using these AI models with something called credits, which is essentially every time you run the model, you're getting charged a certain amount of credits. And they also don't make it extremely obvious as to how your credits are getting used until you start using them. So for these three generations, you can actually see here, we've used up 10 credits, 10 credits for the fast generations. And then for their quality one, it used up 100 credits, which is 10 times the amount and that to me is just a very ridiculous because I don't think this generation is 10 times the result of these other two ones. And yeah, at only 880 credits, you might run through this in about less than 10 generations for something that's quality. And that's already paying $25 a month for this. So yeah, I wouldn't really jump right into this tool just yet because yeah, their pricing structure is a little bit all over the place. And aside from seeing some really awesome scenes and some really awesome use cases and, you know, the potential of this tool, it really is not where I'd like it to be to where I could start recommending this to everyone to start using and hopping into just yet. Now, if you guys are curious a little bit more about different AI models, I would say that there are also alternatives that you guys can run completely for free on your computer, they produce amazing results. And in fact, we actually have a trailer that we made really quickly. It took probably about two to three hours just for us to come up with the concepts and the different generations and it put it all together inside something like After Effects and Premiere. So I'm gonna go ahead and play that for you guys. And the amazing part of this is that it's running completely for free, locally generated. So we're not paying any sort of service and not sending off our data elsewhere. And we have complete control of how these generations come out. And if you guys are curious to learn how to do something like this, we're also coming out with a brand new advanced generative AI course where we talk about practical applications of the AI models that we're using, ways that you guys can actually use these models for professional settings, getting agency work. And we have some heavy hitters being a part of this course that we're super excited about. So as a heads up, we're gonna have the biggest discount of this course ever in existence for the waitlist group. So if you guys wanna be a part of that, 
Just make sure, go ahead, sign up for their wait list so you guys take advantage of that huge discount because it's never going to be cheaper after that point. I hope you guys enjoyed this deep dive. I hope to catch you in the next one. And most likely, I would highly recommend you guys check out this AI model, which lets you create stunning videos for free on your computer. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to catch you in the next one. Until next time, all right, peace. Whoosh.